Have you ever wondered what the mighty tyrannosaurs had for dinner? Picture this, a world where gigantic bipedal reptiles roam freely, their thunderous footsteps echoing through the dense prehistoric forests. Among these titans, the tyrannosaurs stand as the uncontested champions, their massive bodies and fearsome visages, enough to send a chill down the spines of even the bravest creatures. It's widely accepted that these colossal creatures were carnivores. Their sharp, serrated teeth and powerful jaws seem to tell a tale of a predator at the top of the food chain. But was this always the case? There's been a long-standing debate among scientists about whether tyrannosaurs were active hunters or opportunistic scavengers, feasting on the leftovers of other predators. So we're left with a mystery. What exactly did the tyrannosaurs eat? How can we, living millions of years later, discern their dietary habits? But how can we truly know what these ancient beasts feasted on? The answer lies in their teeth. Now, consider this. Each bite a tyrannosaur took left behind a story, etched in the bones of its prey. These tooth marks, like the fingerprints of a criminal, give away valuable clues about the tyrannosaur's dietary preferences. Scientists scrutinize these marks with an eagle eye, piecing together a picture of what these ancient beasts feasted upon. The size of the tooth marks, for instance, can hint at the size of the dinosaur, while the depth could suggest the strength of its bite. Even the pattern of the tooth marks is significant. A series of parallel marks might indicate a tyrannosaur pulling at the flesh, while puncture marks could suggest a bone-crushing bite. However, it's not just about the what. These marks can also tell us how the dinosaur ate. Did it gulp down large chunks of meat, or did it chew carefully, savoring each bite? Just like a detective, paleontologists piece together these clues to reveal the dining habits of the tyrannosaurs. So, what do these tooth marks tell us about the diet of tyrannosaurs? Well, let's dive into the key findings. By analyzing the distinctive tooth marks left on bones, we can confidently say that tyrannosaurs feasted on large, bone-rich prey. The sheer depth and spacing of these marks indicate a powerful bite force capable of crushing and splintering bones, something only massive, meaty creatures could provide. But that's not the whole story. Some fossils present us with healed bite marks, suggesting that the animal survived the attack and had time to heal. This finding introduces an intriguing possibility. Tyrannosaurs may not have been just apex predators, but opportunistic scavengers too feasting on the leftovers of other predators' meals. So were tyrannosaurs picky eaters, or opportunistic feeders? The tooth marks suggest they might have been a bit of both. This combination of predatory and scavenging behaviors is yet another testament to the tyrannosaurs' adaptability and dominance within their ecosystems. The tyrannosaur, a mighty predator and perhaps also a scavenger, has left behind a legacy that continues to fascinate us. These colossal beasts, with their serrated teeth and powerful jaws, have left us more than just fossils. They've left us clues, etched into the bones of their prey, hints to their diet and lifestyle. These tooth marks, as distinct as a signature, offer a unique window into a world long gone. They give us insights into the behavior of these magnificent creatures, their feeding habits, and their preferences. From the depth and spacing of these marks, we can infer the strength of their bite, their hunting strategies, and even their social interactions. In studying these marks, we're not just uncovering facts about the past, we're breathing life into history, transforming fossils into living, breathing creatures. This is the legacy of the tyrannosaurs, etched in bone and preserved in stone. Through the marks they left behind, the tyrannosaurs continue to tell their story, one bite at a time.